The Wolfgang Puck Pressure Oven is brand new technology in the world of cooking. You're going to love how it cooks faster, more flavorful meals for you, and it's so easy to get started. Today we are demonstrating the use of the Rotisserie Series Pressure Oven. Once your Wolfgang Puck Pressure Oven is out of the box, simply plug it into any grounded standard outlet and you are ready to go. At just 13 inches in height, you can see that it fits easily under any standard kitchen cabinet, and yet it's able to accommodate up to a 14-pound turkey or a 12-inch pizza. Your Wolfgang Puck Pressure Oven can accommodate oven-safe bakeware including glass, metal, and even disposable aluminum. Some common size pans that fit easily in your oven include a 9 by 13 baking pan, a 12-inch round cake or pizza pan, and even a muffin tin. When using your Wolfgang Puck oven, always ensure that you use the crumb tray. Simply slide it under the bottom heating element. Your oven rack can be used in three positions. The bottom, the middle, and broil. When broiling, use the drip pan, add the broil rack, and slide it into position. When using your rotisserie, always ensure that your drip pan is in the bottom rack position. When roasting larger cuts of meat, use the roasting pan in the bottom rack position. Your Wolfgang Puck pressure oven can operate in two ways. Standard mode without pressure, which is just like your oven at home, or sealed and under pressure. The vent release valve lays loosely on the valve stem. This is by design. Your vent release valve has a finger grip on one side and a pointer on the other. When setting your vent release valve, grasp the finger grip and move the pointer to the desired position, either vent or seal. During cooking, you will hear air escaping from the vent release valve in either mode. This is normal. For standard mode, place the vent release valve in the vent position and leave the sealing lever in the upper position. Your oven door will be slightly ajar, allowing air to escape during cooking. For pressure mode, place the vent release valve in the sealed position and lower the sealing lever. The door will be pulled in to create a sealed environment. Your Wolfgang Puck oven can bake, toast, roast, broil, rotisserie, and warm. Today we're roasting a chicken in pressure mode. Set the temperature to 450 degrees and set the mode to roast. Your oven preheats in less than 10 minutes. To set the timer, turn the dial past the 20 minute mark and then back to 10. Your oven is preheated when the green ready light illuminates. The green ready light cycles on and off during the cooking process. This is normal. Once your oven is preheated, press the door release button, place your chicken inside, close the door, lower the sealing lever, and seal the vent release valve. When the roasted chicken is done, turn the timer off. Turn the vent release valve to vent and wait for the steam to fully dissipate. Raise the sealing lever to the standard position. You may see a small puff of steam coming from the door. Press the door release button and always use oven mitts to remove your food. Now you've cooked a delicious, flavorful meal in record time. To make a rotisserie chicken, you always want to truss your chicken first. Take about a yard of butcher's twine, stick it under the front breast of the bird, up and over the drumsticks, catch them underneath, pull up and tie a knot or half knot. Pull tight making sure that one drumstick goes over the top of the other just like that. Cinch it down tight, tie it in a bow if you'd like, flip it over and make sure that the wing tips are captured under the twine, like that. Insert the rotisserie rod into the chicken cavity pointed end first. It's important to capture both sides of the vent with two of the tines, with the third tine going in between the drumsticks and firmly push it in. Spin the chicken around 
and add the other end of the forks to the rotisserie, taking care to capture one fork on either side of the breast with the third tine going in through the top. Tighten down the fork, and now you're ready to load your chicken. To rotisserie a chicken, select rotisserie on the function. Turn on your timer. We need about an hour here. It's easier to load the chicken using the tool and while the motor is running. I'll load the right side first using the pointed end of the rotisserie, then drop in the left side using the lifter to aid me. Just like that. Close the door and dinner will be ready in less than an hour. To remove your rotisserie chicken, use the rotisserie tool. Lift up on the left first until it releases. Angle it slightly, pull it out, and remove. Your Wolfgang Puck pressure oven bakes perfectly without rotating foods. It bakes up to a 12-inch pizza, a quarter sheet pan of dinner rolls, toast up to six slices of bread. Finish off your au gratin potatoes under the broiler for that crispy topping that everybody loves. And cook the juiciest 14 pound turkey in an hour with beautiful caramelized skin. And keep your foods warm until you're ready to serve. Your Wolfgang Puck oven is perfect for Thanksgiving. Don't spend all day basting a bird and worrying about serving up a dry roast. Spend more time with the people that you love instead.